This weekend, the ARCA series returns to action at the home base at Toledo Speedway in Toledo, Ohio. A young lady who will be making her first career ARCA series start from Eagle River, Wisconsin, driver of the N29 Capital Toyota this weekend, Natalie Decker. Natalie, welcome to the program. Hi, thank you for having me. It's a, it's a lot of fun to have first-time drivers on the program. It's a lot of fun to have Venerini first-time drivers on the program because I get to make fun of whoever their crew chief is for this weekend. And uh, I understand you got the old man this weekend for your crew chief, Dave, Dave Liner? Yeah, I got Dave. Did, did you have to wake him up when y'all were testing or, you know, how'd that work? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he's great. I love working with him. And I've only, I tested today at South Boston, and it was my first time working with him, and I loved it. It was wonderful. Let's talk about your tests with those guys. Venerini are known for very fast cars and very fast cars that turn very well in the middle. And South Boston is a place that you need to turn very well. Did you feel like you had a, a good hot rod today? Yeah, it was my first time driving an ARCA car or anything even close to a car like that. And it was great. I was really happy with the test. Dave was happy with the test. Billy Ventrini wasn't there, but everyone was updating him the whole day. And he texted me, and he said he's happy. So I think it's going to be fun going into Toledo. I'm going to be a lot more confident now that I have those laps in in the ARCA car, so I'm, I'm really excited. This weekend, you'll be making your first uh, start in the uh, ARCA series, and you're coming from Eagle River, Wisconsin, and if I'm not mistaken, your background has been late models, correct? Yeah, my background is super late models, and I've been doing that for a few years now. And when you got in... Uh, the probably the late models you're driving 25 2600 pounds um you got in that big old heavy car 3400 pounds uh or 3300 pounds this weekend or today at south boston what was the feel like how much different was it for you oh my gosh it is a huge difference so my super late model it does whatever i want whenever i want it to do it like when I was going into the corner with the ARCA car, you can just feel how heavy it is. And it, like, rolls over, and it kind of does its own thing. And my super late, I'm like, nope, you're going to do this. I want you to do this, and my car does it. But with the ARCA car, yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it doesn't do it quite the same way, does it? No, they're big, heavy cars. When um, it, and and obviously it requires more braking and more finesse uh, with the gas pedal uh, than what you have with your late model. When yeah, you're, go ahead. There is more horsepower, so definitely more finesse. And for you, as an up and coming race car driver, you like having a little more power underneath your foot. Yeah, you always want more power. <laughs> <sighs> this weekend, uh, the series will be in Toledo, which is home base for the ARCA series. Uh, racing is on Fox Sports. Well, I think we race in the afternoon at like 1 or 2 o'clock and replayed at 5 o'clock on uh, Fox Sports 1 on Sunday afternoon. Will this be your first time to race at Toledo? Yes, I haven't even seen the track. I've only watched YouTube videos and in-car cameras, so I've never even seen the racetrack or raced on it, so it'll be my first. Well, my piece of advice for you about the YouTube videos for Toledo, do not watch any of my son's YouTube videos from Toledo. <laughs> Why? They're, they're just, just All you have to do is Google Thomas Prater Toledo and you'll see, because the only highlights he has from Toledo is how you can properly destroy a race car at oh, either gosh. end of the racetrack. Yeah, so you don't want to watch those. You want to no, watch, watch, you know, that one. 
Yeah, you don't want to watch those. You want to watch something of, of, of somebody that, that, that doesn't have those kind of issues uh, at Toledo. Now, Toledo is your first race, and you're going to race three races in a row, which is a little unusual, but as I thought about it this afternoon, it's probably a pretty good idea. You get in there, and you get situated, and you figure out what's going on. How did y'all come up with these three, Natalie, as the ones that you wanted to race? So when we were figuring out what we wanted to do for this season and we found out we wanted to race ARCA and with Ventrini and we found our sponsor, N29 Capital Partners, and we had the sponsor, Carl is his name, he picked it out. He said, I want three races close together at the beginning of the year and we showed him the schedule and we picked we all picked then Toledo, Elko, Pocono, like myself, Carl, from N29, my father, my crew chief, my mom, we all sat down and kind of picked three together. And about as three different racetracks as you can get. Toledo is yeah. one of the biggest short tracks. Elko is one of the shortest <laughs> racetracks. And Pocono is one of the biggest biggest race tracks and most unusual on the tour yeah and we picked elko because i've been there a lot watched a lot of racing there and i've also raced there so i'm really familiar with that track well it, it, and we were there i guess three or four years ago and it is a tight tight bull ring but it makes for great racing yes it does make for great racing and then Pocono, that's going to be a big change. Mm-hmm. That's going to be big. You Are you going to be participating in the test that week before the race? Yes, I will be doing the test before the race, or else I'd be really scared and nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so thank God we're doing that. That front straightaway is a little over a mile long. And you can get lost on that thing. It's really long. Yeah, I was, I'm was. i going to be driving the 15 car, so I'll have a different crew chief for that. But I was talking to Dave about it, and he was like, yeah, you're going to be going down the straightaway, and you'll be like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do? It's forever. You're going to be looking around. <laughs> Well, you don't you don't get to look around very much, but I will tell you this: they they did one of the best things they ever did to help. Uh, again, it, it was really designed for drivers like my son. Um, is they have some cones in the fence, so when you get closer to the end of that big long straightaway, there are some cones in the fence to let you know how close you're getting. Yes, we did talk about the cones and the marks on you know three, two, and one. And how far to drive it in and all that stuff. We're talking with Natalie Decker from Eagle River, Wisconsin. She'll be driving at Toledo Speedway, making her ARCA debut this weekend for Venerini Motorsports in the N29 Capital Toyota. Natalie, what? Uh, tell us a little bit about N29 Capital. So N29 is out of Madison, Wisconsin, and that is a company that invests in startup companies. Awesome. So they're making an investment in your startup race team. Yeah, I'm pretty much a startup company, you know, startup racing, race driver. It's a company. Well, now how does, have you not talked them into racing at Madison yet? But. They were all booked up for Madison, so we couldn't get a race in at Madison. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Natalie, the music means we got to go. Thank you for joining us. I look forward to seeing you this weekend in Toledo, and good luck over the next three races. Thank you. Natalie Decker, folks, believe you'll hear more from her as she makes her way down the road. And, of course, she'll be with Venerini Motorsports the next three races. That's pretty potent pairing right there.